So I had this question on our recent Not Financial Advice Live with uh, Ben from Into the Cryptoverse and Guy from Coin Bureau. And the question was a simple one. I asked the question, which was, what would you do if I gave you $10,000 today right now? What would you invest into and when would you invest into it? Because, you know, timing is everything. And uh, we took a look at it and uh, the guys kind of digested the, the question itself. It's a uh, had some pretty decent answers, honestly. Now, Guy kind of honestly tap danced around a little bit, and I'm going to link in the description, but I made him answer the question. And then, uh, you know, he said, basically, I'm going to go safe, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and I'm going to dollar cost average in. And then uh, I asked uh, uh, Ben the same question. He gave a, a pretty nuanced answer, which I never even thought about, which was he was going to put in the CDs and he was going to unlock it as time went on, use those gains, and then put even more money into uh, mostly Bitcoin because that's what Ben likes. So uh, I thought about it, and before I had a chance to answer, uh, we had to move on because it was just one of those days where time was really against us. And when I went back and I looked at some of the comments, you know, a lot of people like it, but there's always the ones that just, you know, didn't. And I can understand why, because right now it is, a, it is honestly quite a tough time. And this was uh, from a couple people. And the, the comments were this. This is from Future Forward and Ogi June. And Future Forward said, these guys only need their portfolios to 3 to 5x, and they will be out, which I got to be, be honest with that. Sounds pretty good, 3 to 5x. Goals likely accomplished. Hard for newcomers to follow this advice and expect the returns to be satisfactory. Most need much more alpha, 30x to 100x plus variety. And NFA is simply not looking for that anymore. And Ogi said, bingo. These channels are near useless for 95% of the crypto space. Coin Bureau and Best Answers, Crypto RS, Banter, et cetera, offer zero alpha. In fact, they actually got the most people wrecked in the last cycle through all their effing shilling, affiliate deals, backdoor sponsors. These talking heads made a lot of money onboarding people into Celsius, Voyager, BlockFi, et cetera, and got people wrecked. I just watched them now, now and then, for mass sentiment, Intel to fade the crowd. First of all, I can understand the frustration quite honestly. Uh, for Celsius, all those funds are gone. For me, I, I just writing it off. I, I, I understand that there is some potential to actually get, get that back, but who knows, quite honestly. And Voyager, they just closed out and we got like 35.6% back, you know, hoo-ha. So in that response, I can tell you, I can understand the frustration because I talked about it. I talked about it quite a bit. And actually, when we talked about it, the only reason that, that I knew that Voyager was going to crash was because it was a public traded company and there was a public document for their filings which said they gave $640 million to Rio's capital. And in the timeline of all my videos, this was the timeline that I gave. So I actually went to consensus on June 6th through the 10th or something like that. And I found out about Celsius from what people were talking about. Did a video that day, told people to take it out. That was 11 a.m., 9 p.m., withdrawals were frozen. Not enough time. It was just enough time, but not enough time. Then on June 20th, uh, that's uh, I want to put in the five rules, which you know very well. Don't invest more than you can afford to lose. Uh, everything's a scam until for otherwise. Don't leave anything on exchanges. Don't use leverage and take profits along the way. And then after that, on June 22nd, I told you to take all, the, all your crypto off Voyager. And there was a video. And then July 1st, withdrawals were frozen. So again, I can understand the frustration. I get it. However... Moving back to what was said here about the alpha and not giving up. So let's just assume the 100x is off the table. Maybe, I don't know, maybe if a 90x is there, maybe an 80x. So here's what I'm gonna tell you is this. If you're looking for that, that 100x and fast, it's not gonna happen. And it's not gonna be in this channel, I'm sorry. But what I'm gonna show you right now, if you do not understand or you or do you look at this data that I give you and you say, this is not for me, then you should unsubscribe and not listen to me whatsoever. But I'm just gonna tell you what I did and how far it took and how long it took and what I would do now with $10,000. So let's jump in. The first thing you gotta understand is this. I do not care about the dips and the valleys in the market. I do not care how volatile it is. I do not care really about any fantastic great news or really awful news because I'm gonna be in this, in this space for quite some time. It worked out for me in 2017. It, it worked out for 2018 and 19 when we were going through those horrible times. And it worked out, the reason was, because I just stuck around. 
if you're looking, if you're looking for 30 to 50 to 100, 1,000 Xs during a pretty bad bear market, you're going to get Pepe coin. And that's fine. You can try that. Some people make out like bandits, but the majority don't. This is what I did to move forward and how I made millions, quite honestly, in the crypto space. So I'm going to use Ben's tool. Uh, this is a 100% free tool. If you go to the Cryptoverse, you can sign up. There's different tiers, uh, but for this one, it's free. And uh, I love using it. And he's got some other great stuff. Links in the description. So let's take a look. Now, what I usually do, what I've usually been doing is I've been taking August 1st, 2020. But I really shouldn't uh, do that, quite honestly, because really what I want to do is take today's date, starting date, August 31st. But you see here where I said 2019? This is why I picked 2019. It's because I believe in the four-year cycles. I believe they'll pay, play out quite well. I believe that uh, the next year, in 2024, we're going to have a presidential election. I think there's going to be some, some pretty upheaval. I think in 2025, we'll have a pretty big bull run. Or maybe it could be earlier. Regardless, it's amazing how well it's worked out so far. So if we're looking at the, the four-year cycles, you have to understand, we are in the reset years. The last reset year was 2019. The reset year before that was 2015. Because after every reset year is a Bitcoin halving. After the halving, it's been all-time highs. And it happened in 2012 when we had a halving. 2013, all-time high, a dip, and then a reset. We go forward. It happened again. 2016, a halving, all-time high, a dip. Reset, 2019. 2020, halving, all-time high, a dip. And we're in the reset year. Next year, we go into a halving. So if I want to be fair, as fair as I possibly can be, what I'm going to say is, okay, it's August 31st today. Let's go back on the four-year cycle and see how this worked out. So a lot, of, a lot of people will say, Rob, I don't have thousands of dollars. I can't lump some. Got you. No problem. So here's what I did. I mean, back in 2018, you think I was putting in $1,000 a day? Are you out of your mind? I mean, I guess I could have, but it would have drained me, and I would have been just going down, down, down forever. What I did was I thought to myself, this is very early. And don't let anybody fool you. We're still super early. We still got Congress up there talking about it. There's still people trying to get a spot ETF for Pete's sakes. We can't even get that. We still got people who are disagreeing that this is even actual an asset class. So if people say, oh, relate to the game, they don't know what they're talking about. So look, let's just take this. Going back to August 31st, and it's going to start on September 2nd. Let's just take 20 bucks for a week, $20 for a week. And actually, let's do this, because I'm going to give you what I would do with, with $1,000. I would just take a look at the history. Let's do this. OK, let's just do this. Five bucks a week. Five bucks a week. That's 20 bucks a month. So if I took five bucks a week back in the day, again, August 31st, four years back in cycle 2019, if I had 870 bucks, I could do a lump sum. You can see that right there. I don't have that. So as I move forward and I'm going all the way through, yes, I'd have to eat it for quite a long time. I'd have to watch my investment go down for quite a long time. In 2020, it's not looking too hot. I'm already underwater. I invested 95 bucks. ETH for Pete's sakes is 78 bucks. I mean, I'm down $78. I'm down on Link. I'm down on eight. I'm down on the, I'm down a lot, but I don't care because I know that bear markets don't last forever. That's the alpha. That's the alpha. If you want to, to, to hear about this is the next greatest thing and everything else, I, I don't have that for you. But I can tell you this, bear markets don't last forever and bull markets don't either. So the things I'm gonna to talk to you about is great for the bear, but you gotta understand in the bull market, you need to act. So moving forward, how would I do? Let's say that for some magical reason, I figured it out. And around, now let's go back to April. April, April, April. April, 2021. I invested five bucks a week since 2019. It is now 2021. Not even two years, actually. April 26, August 31st, 2019 to April 26, 21. The Dogecoin. Doge is worth $35,471. If you're only able to put in five bucks a week, $35,000 is a boatload of money, a boatload of money for you. The thing is you need to take profits. If you don't take profits, you're going to be the Dogecoin millionaire again. And all you're going to do is watch everything go up and watch everything go down. And you're going to say, well, should have done it. I'll get it next time. Wait four years. You're not going to do that this time. This was my mistake. 
in 2017. What about Matic? Well, I'm up to 8,000. Solana, 844.2. ADA, almost 7,000. Now the lump sum, if I would have put in, if I would have put a lump sum of my 870 bucks in Bitcoin, I would have had 4,380. Not a good plan. Now there's different times to put it in. If I would have put in a lump sum at, oh, I don't know, January 1st, 2017 of 870 bucks for Bitcoin, yeah, probably would have been pretty good. DCA Bitcoin, 1,900. AVAX 525. Near 395, I've been down. 870 bucks, that's what I invested. These are good things. And this is just me going five bucks. Let's say I miss it. Okay, well, I go down. I wait for it to go up a little bit. Where am I at? Same stuff, really. 2021 is a, was a great year, and we're going to see it again. Again, five bucks a week. Dogecoin, 47,000. Matic, 32,000. Cardano, 13,000. Solana, almost 10,000. ETH, 5,000, and so on and so forth. And you can see, even going over here, Look at that. February 20, 2023, I screwed up. I didn't sell anything. But somehow, <laughs> I got 33,000 in Matic, 12,000 in Doge, 4,000 in Solana. You see where I'm going with this? Time in the market is more important than timing the market. Now, let's say I'm a baller and I want to put in 60 bucks a week. That'll be 10,000. So we started with 1,000 bucks, roughly 870 bucks. Okay, you got me. 10,440. How's that looking? Well, again, time in the market's looking pretty sweet. Let's take April. For Doge, I have almost half a million dollars and I put 60 bucks a week. Let me do some quick math. That's 240 bucks a month if you put it all in Doge. But you're like, I don't like Doge, it's, you know, it's crazy. But I like this, this, this Cardano. Well, you almost have 100,000. Matic, 97. Solana, 68. DCA, 26. Not bad. AVAX is 8,400. I invested 5,160. If I can double, triple, quadruple, 5x, 10x, I'm doing pretty good. And then again, let's say I miss it, I screw up. That's okay. February 20, 2023, in Matic, I got 400,000. Doge, I have 150,000, 55,000. Now, let's say I am really, oh, not that one. I'd say I'm a real baller. I'm putting 600 bucks a week. I'm putting 2,400 bucks a month. I don't even want to show this to you, but I have to. If I sell at the very tippy top, for Doge, I have almost $10 million. $9,660,000. million, I put in $104,000. That is essentially the Dogecoin millionaire right there. Matic, $2,500. Ada, thirteen. Well, excuse me, excuse me, $2.5 million. Ada, $1.3 million. Solana, almost a million. ETH, $776,000. And so on and so forth. So when I look at all this stuff, you're probably asking yourself, well, Rob, what would you do at this point? If I had $1,000 right now today, August 31st, 2019, I would do the exact same thing that I'm doing right now. I would just put more money into the DCAs that I actually do. Here's a list of everything that I DCA right now. And as you can see, it's pretty normal, boring stuff. And I don't care if they make it or they don't make it because they're not all going to make it. But if I spread things around, I'll be okay. Now, if you have five bucks to spread around, that's pretty tough, I must admit. But if you have 10... $10 per week, you can put five bucks into Bitcoin or five bucks into Ethereum and off you go. And just like what I showed you, or maybe do something else. One thing I'd like you to remember though is this, is that the projects that don't have a ton of bag holders are the projects that sometimes really do quite well as long as they have a good team. They are building in the bear so they can crush in the bull. And that is why I'm getting heavily invested into Near and to Arbitrum. Because those, to me, could be, could be the next Solana and whatever else. And let's say Polygon because Arbitrum is an L2. So that's it for today. So look, I understand the frustration. I know exactly what you're going through. I was frustrated. I used to get so ticked off at the people on YouTube who would say, just keep buying that dip and just keep buying the dip. And I'm like, I'm all dipped out. The difference is you have to understand that the thing that you buy, you have to understand that these things, there is a limit and there is only so much that you can actually put in. So don't start selling your car and your kidneys and your kids so you can put into some wacky coin, even if it's Bitcoin. The slow boat wins the race, and that's what I'm getting into. The next biggest thing you need to think about is how you're gonna sell this stuff and avoid becoming the Dogecoin millionaire or the person who was like, wrote it all the way up and wrote it all the way down. And for that, there's a video. It's where I talk about selling 80% of all of my crypto, what indicators I'm looking at, and moving from there. So 
that's it for today. Hopefully I gave you a little bit of alpha. And again, if it didn't make sense to you, or you didn't like it, that will be the time to unsubscribe. That's it for today. So thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Like the video, hit the like. If you like what you hear, subscribe. That's it for today. Thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate you and I'll see you on the next one.